Let's now look at all the different ways you can display web forms in Drupal. Because this default page is great for testing and building forms, but it's not that useful in the real world. You may want to display this form as a block in the sidebar, or you may want to add text above the form or below it. So in this video, I'll show you how to display this form as a block in the sidebar, and we'll add it to the right hand side. So adding a web form into a region as a block is pretty easy. Just go to structure, block layout, and then scroll down and click on place block on the region you want to add the form to. And then search for web form, and then click on place block. And then from the web form autocomplete field, search for your web form, just entering the name. So in our case, it'll be request a callback, and then from the default web form submission data, you can pre-populate the form. And then from the visibility section, you can control where the block is displayed. Now, this is just standard block functionality, but let's select basic page so that this form only gets displayed on the basic page content type. And then click on save block. And then scroll down and click on save blocks. Now let's create a basic page. So go to content, add content, basic page, and then just enter something in like test page into title, and then click on save. And then here on the right, you can see our form. So let's just submit it. So I'll just enter in some dummy data, and then click on next page, select our software and then details, and then click on submit. And now we are redirected to the confirmation page. So if we go back, to the test page. Let's just refresh this. Now, you may have noticed that when we switch pages, it refreshes the whole page to go to the next page. Now, we can easily avoid that by switching on the use Ajax setting for this form. So let's just go back one step. So if you click on the contextual link and then click on settings, this will take us directly to the settings page for the form. Scroll down and then check use Ajax, and then click on save. And now if we go back to the test page, and then fill it out, instead of refreshing the whole page, it simply refreshes the form via Ajax. And then if we fill it out and then click on submit, it redirects us to the confirmation page. Let's now change this confirmation page because you may not want to be redirected to a whole new page once the form has been submitted. Webform allows you to display the confirmation in line. So to do that, let's go back to our test page and again, click on the contextual link and then settings and then go to confirmation and you'll see a new message now. Only inline, message, and modal confirmation types are fully supported by Ajax. Now, this message appears because we switched on Ajax. So the only thing we'll do here is select inline. And then click on save. And then if we go back to our test page, and then if we fill out the form, and then click on next page, and then enter in some extra data, and now if we click on submit, the confirmation will appear in line instead of redirecting us to a whole new confirmation page. You may want to redirect users to a separate confirmation page because you want to track it in Google Analytics, for example, well then you have that option. You can easily do that. But if you want to display the confirmation in line, you also have that option as well. Now let's go back to our test page. Now, another thing I want to show you are the submissions. So if we click on our contextual link and then click on results and click on customize and make sure you have submitted to column switched on. So let me just move that all the way up. So it's just above first name and then click on save. Now this submitted to column tells you where the submission came from. Notice how all these top ones have test page. That is because I filled out the submission on the test page. Now, the rest of them have the column empty because they were submitted on the default page. This is pretty powerful because you could see the exact page a submission came from if you are using the same form across the whole site. And this can give you just that bit of extra contextual information.